Oh, I think it's amazing. It's an amazing opportunity for the kids to have indoor classroom space, but then be able to go outside and take a break from the indoor space and learn about the desert and everything that's out there, but also have time together in open space. And I think in Arizona and particularly Tucson, they can be outside most of the year. So it can be utilized for the whole school year. So initially when we first heard of the A for Arizona grant, um, we tossed around quite a few ideas of what we could possibly do. We had all these discussions about possibly taking a chunk out of our current nature trail area to expand our parking lot. We had been going back and forth for quite a few months actually of, mm -hmm. are we gonna do this? Are we not gonna do this? The issue was that we weren't using it because it was so overgrown. So we had to figure out a way to make it more usable and it just turned out to be the most opportune time for this to happen because we really started seeing the value of kids learning outdoors. So this grant allowed us to um, revitalize and expand the entire area. So we were able to widen the paths, we were able to line all the paths, we were able to create new spaces, and we had one original classroom space, but we wanted to have two at least so that more classes could be out there at the same time. So we started a learning walk. Yes, and so the learning walk was completely new and the kids helped line those paths and create those, but then we also bought signs so that um, kids' work could be displayed. We can also use like QR codes and things like that so even more work can be a part of that because there's only so much space with so many signs. And then the other part that was new was the kindness corner. So the kids decided that we really needed a space for kids yes. to go and just have quiet, calming space. Um, and then they designed that space too. My favorite part personally of the nature trail is I really enjoyed the learning walk because it represents a lot of what we do inside of the school. Um, not just what we've done on the nature trail, but like art classes right now, there's currently cactus pictures of what the second graders have done and poems. That's my favorite part because it's also, you can also change them out. So like sixth graders can put work in there and all different grades can participate and feel like their artwork has been shown and their work has been shown. I'd say it's way better than inside a classroom because it's not as loud and it's more spacious and also that it's more calming and you can do more assignments better and if you get too stressed over it, all you have to do is just relax and like take a deep breath. Well, I think a change in environment is good for kids. Um, it just sparks their interest more and some kids do better out there because there's less distraction, believe it or not, even though it's like there's the world around them and it's inspiring because they see the plants and they see the animals and they talk with each other about it. So it's, I think it's nice for them to do that. I can't even imagine like not having that nature trail and just having that like parking lot or something, thinking like having an area where you can go out and be with the nature and feel like, like you see butterflies and lizards and stuff like that, that like some you didn't even know were there. So just learning about different things that are in the nature trail has been so amazing. I think as a teacher, to be able to have another classroom other than what you're used to every day, to be able to broaden the horizons of your students. I have students that haven't seen specific species of plants or we see animals. Um, they haven't perhaps had the opportunity to work outside, you know, to have, a, to read outside or to do math outside and the kids get very excited about having an extension of their classroom, something they can call their own that they helped develop and another place for them to go. And it's not just a, hey, I was good today, can I go sit outside? It's not that, it is a, this is part of your classroom, let's go, let's work. And I think being able to offer that to students and not just working in a classroom, for all you know, levels of learning is something great that we have that I wish every school could have. So as a governing board member in the school district, we are so grateful to A for Arizona for the funding for this nature trail and all of the funding that's come to our school district. The outdoor learning spaces are so important to our students. And I think 
um, will be more and more important as they continue to develop and grow. And we're really grateful to our administrators as well who have put in so much time and effort into this. And as a board member, one of the things that's been amazing is to watch it leverage a lot of other opportunities and see collaboration amongst other organizations and entities. And that grant has really facilitated that. And we're really appreciative of that. My hope for our campus is to expand the one, the student leadership that we've been seeing. So our sixth graders have really taken the lead this year, but they're also inspiring our younger students. So as they move on to the junior high, to have our younger kids really take that leadership too. Um, and then all the, the, the passion about outdoor learning that's happening in this nature trail space, it's only part of our campus. We're now taking it as, okay, looking at our garden. We need to expand the space of the garden. Outside every classroom, we want to have this outdoor learning space. So it's like trickling and just sparking this inspiration for our yeah. entire campus. Yep. This is such an opportunity. It's a different way of thinking. It's a different way to be innovative within our context of what can you do in your school. And so every school has a different unique thing that makes them them. And so when you're thinking of what makes you you, think of how can I innovate that? And it doesn't necessarily need to be a computer or you know, video equipment or something like that. It can be something as simple as, what can I do on my playground? What can I do outside of my classroom door? Because learning does not just happen inside of a classroom. Learning happens everywhere we go. So how can you make that be a part of who you are? And we were able to take a piece of our history and build upon it and really expand it into learning opportunities for our students across our entire campus. And that's now inspiring further opportunities for that to go.